drawing. Hey guys, John Pry here once again, and what I'm doing, uh, I guess you could call this a user request. Um, I'm gonna do actually a, a, a dedicated video to um, a com to a guy who uh, goes by the name of Level Up Studios. He's an Android developer, and I'm actually gonna be taking a dedicated look at two of the apps that he offers. One of them is called Beautiful Widgets, and the other is called. Twitter, um, I believe that's how it's pronounced at least. It's a Twitter app. I'm going to take a look at both of those real quick. Uh, we're going to start with Beautiful Widgets. Um, Beautiful Widgets duh, is going to run you a couple bucks in the Android market. Um, I think it runs to like three or four bucks after you factor in Google's international service charges and all that. And the two things you get right off the bat are the Beautiful Home Widget which you can see the big version and the small version right there um, you know originally it looked a lot like the HTC Sense clock weather widget um, HTC kinda threw their legal mumbo jumbo at him and had him take it off he redesigned it still the same basic concept um, the thing I, one of the things I really like about it you know you tap the clock you get um, you know the you get your clock application um, when you pull up weather, you know, you get the nice little animations and everything. One of the things I really like about this is its customization. If you pull it up, um, you can go to skins, if you, as you can see there. I have a handful of different skins installed on mine. Uh, and if you pull it up, hopefully it'll load quick. If you pull it up, as you can see, there is probably just a ridiculous amount of skins available for Beautiful Widgets. And he just seems to be adding in more and more and more every single day. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Um, and, you know, the, the skins are all free. Like I said, the Beautiful Widgets app will run a couple bucks after international transfer fees and all that. The other part of this app is the actual different function widgets that it offers. Um, plane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, you can kind of take a look at them there. Silent mode, GPS, vibrate, as well as he recently, uh, I would assume, probably, I don't know if it's going to focus or not. No, it's not. Um, but, you know, he recently added the beautiful brightness widget, which is kind of nice. Um, it, you know, they're, they're, they're basically just one-click function buttons. You know, if you want to turn on Wi-Fi, you know, you can turn Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on. Flip the phone over to vibrate. Maybe. Or, you know, silent mode. There we go. All at the, you know, the, the flip of a button. Um, definitely, you know, definitely as far as beautiful widgets go, I think it is definitely one of the few, and you know, one of the few Android apps personally that I've paid for, and I, you know, I, I, I love it. I think every, every Android device that isn't running the Sense UI should have, you know, you should buy this app. Um, the other app that he, uh, you know, I, I definitely, you know, if you'd give it a, you know, a star rating, something I haven't really done, I would give the app a, uh, rough, you know, five out of five. Definitely, have not had any problems with it. It loads. It's you know normally pretty snappy, and uh, haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. The other app that I'm going to quickly show you here that he does is an app called Twitter. Um, it's a two-piece app. It, it's, an, it's, you know, another, you know, God knows we need another Twitter client on the Android market. But, this one isn't bad. The, he has a free version as well as a premium version. Um, the premium version, I think, is a buck, buck ninety-nine, something to that effect. And, you know, you can see, you know, it, it, function-wise, it's the same as every Twitter app on the market. Um, the one thing I do like about it is you do kind of color code, you know, stuff you can see like, um, 
you know, things that you things things that you post, what will show up in one color. You can get you know mentions put in another color. Things other people post um, will be put in a different color. I think that function is kind of cool, kind of unique. Also, the fact that it has its own little you know drag down menu if you want to um, you know start typing something. And again, you know you can pull through your mentions through your direct messages you know pull up a nice little bubble you know comic book style pop-up window um, and it also has its own uh, own internal browser basically um, but yeah that, I mean that's basically the, the basics of the uh, of Twitter the nice little Twitter Twitter app it also has a, wi a widget built in it's a nice uh, it's it's pretty customizable. You you can tab it up, take you know one row, or you can have it take up to three rows. You know and see, you know you see everything right there. Um, also, you know write a new tweet right from the app just by clicking on it, which I think is pretty cool. Also, you can you, know, you refresh everything right from the app. Um, again, I think it's it, it's pretty nifty. Again, picking up both of them, you're probably gonna run. Um, you're probably going to run probably about five bucks, maybe, between both apps, uh, give or take, you know, five, six bucks. They're worth it. They are well worth it. Um, and, you know, def definitely, you know, I get both of them a five out of five. Uh, catch you next time. See ya.